Good evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. Uh, so, I guess more Flaylock today. Yeah, don't worry, it's better than that. We're using a different gun, finally. Um, and you'll see today this is a bit more of a smorgasbord. That's a smorgasbord of uh, gun use. So, using the SMG, quite like the SMG actually. I think it's um, it's obviously a good gun because you do see some of the sneaky buggers who've, who've like specced into it and they're running it solely and you think, why are they using the sidearm? And the reality is, it's actually like that, a pretty good gun. So, you know, it's pretty obvious that um, it's not terrible, let's say. Uh, in fact, I'd say it's probably one of the better guns. But um, I think the Ishikone A4, uh, Ishikone Forge gun, sorry, just rolls off the tongue. It's natural use of my Ishikone fittings. Uh, the Ishikone submachine gun is actually on paper quite impressive. So um, I highly recommend it. Give it a go. Even the basic one is not bad. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, we do use a bit of Flaylock. I know people are loving Flaylock stuff. <laughs> um, again, it's all about the acrobatics, isn't it? I mean, I think there's something about the Flaylock which inspires the kind of... I mean, to be honest, it's a difference between playing this like Cat Strike, where it's all very much, you know, round one, you know, all that crap. But whereas this feels more like playing it a bit like Quake. Um, if you don't know what Quake is, then, oh my god, I feel old, because it's actually a really good um, running, gunning, acrobatic, jumping, you know, rocketry kind of game. And I think, you know, I've always played, um, well, no, I haven't always played FPSs like that, but I think that's probably my, my most enjoyable part. That's what I like Dust for. I don't think, if Dust was incredibly, quote, realistic, do you know what I mean? I think I'd be less inclined to play it. I think, to be honest, I like the mix of you know, I guess the mix. It feels that like there's a good mix. There's there's some good physics there, but it's also a bit tongue in cheek. You know what I mean? It's a bit funny. And I like the, I kind of like that. I like running around. I, I imagine with this Flaylock, I don't see a little pistol there. I see literally the rocket launcher from um, from Quake. So I may render that in just to show you what I mean. Um, but I, I think there's something about the <laughs> the, um, the the Flaylock, or just just generally the type of gun that it is that I like. To be honest, I'd use the plasma cannon if it wasn't so bloody awful. I think the plasma cannon shouldn't be a one-shot reload kind of thing. It should be like a a proper rocket launcher you know what i mean it should be a proper unguided rocket launcher not this weird kind of slow projectile moving thing it should i mean i almost when i heard about it the plasma cannon this is i actually thought ah that's interesting that could be like an rpg do you know what i mean like a um a proper you know terrorist style rpg where you literally just aim it and shoot it and it's it's inaccurate but that's good because it's there to take out infantry you know if you're a good shot with it i mean it's like uh, if you ever played Wolfenstein multiplayer, the rocket in that was uh, the rocket launcher in that was very good. It was the Bazooka, I guess, or the Panzer Shrek, or whatever it's called. But it was it was good. I, I liked that kind of one-shot gun. It wasn't overpowered, but it, it I don't know. It just meant that you had that ability if you were good with it to cause damage. You know what I mean? To get the kills. And I was I always practiced really hard with it, and that's quite good. Hence why I play Flaylock like I do, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, I think if they they will eventually nerf the Flaylock, and they're going to make it literally a flower shooting gun and it's going to be terrible and um, I'm just going to sit here and cry because then it'll take another six months for them to realize they shouldn't have nerfed it as hard as they did and you know nobody's enjoying the game blah blah because it's just logi, cow logi, AR spam which you know unfortunately it's becoming. Uh, <laughs> my views on that are, are, are well uh, documented and I know White Mortadella is listening to this and he's going to hate the fact that I keep saying it. To be honest I think there's, ma there's more things in the game that could do with buffing than nerfing. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't necessarily nerf a cow logic. I'd just make the other suits maybe as good as it. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, you don't need to, to, to nerf to improve the game. I think you maybe need to buff. But again, you know, you don't want to buff a whole range of suits and blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's an interesting one. Um, I think currently the, you know, the, the flay lock to me is... Um, it really is just like a you know a rocket launcher to be honest, and I think that's what I like about it. Um, if the you know if they will eventually nerf it, I'll probably nerf it rather. I'll go into the plasma cannon. I'll give that a go. Probably the mass driver as well. I mean, I've always quite liked the mass driver, but you know, to me, it's it's not as good as the flaylock. The flaylock is like almost uh, you know it, it floats. The, the the mass driver I think dips too much, um, but it's fun you know. So I can't really complain about it. I guess. Um, so anyway, so this round is going pretty well. It was an interesting domination, this one. Um, again, I think probably looking 
forward to a bit more of a change from uh, pub matches or instant battles. Um, starting to look into uh, PC, to be honest, because the sun is, is out. In, in the UK at the moment, we've had probably the hottest week we've had all year. And, you know, we, we in the UK who love the rain, and yes, it always rains. It does. Seriously, if you go to London, and, you know, I mean, if you've probably seen London in the films and that, you know, if ever you see it where there's the sun or it's not raining, it's an incredible use of special effects because literally every single day in London it rains. No joke, no troll, serious post. I am absolutely serious it rains every day. So for us to have this weird crazy situation where there's no rain in the UK and it's actually sunny and this this great fiery ball has crossed the sky and it's actually really warm um, I've been basically enjoying the sun so <laughs> I think <laughs> not been playing a great deal of dust um, I think it's always a tricky thing with summer really because it's always quite enjoyable just to go you know, to do other things um, but I think you know it's gonna be it's going to be tricky I think because you know when the summer ends all of a sudden you're going to have Battlefield 4 out which already we're pretty much lining up to play um, we're going to do clans and everything seriously it's going to be so super awesome serious post <laughs> if you want to come join us then uh, you know join up with the squad or sign up to Darkstar Army forums I'll links at the end go and check it out um, we're going to give it a go. I think, you know, Battlefield 4 to us is, um, is just like dust, but not as sciencey. So I think we're looking forward to giving that a bit of a go. Um, Daisy Standalone comes out very soon as well. We're actually going to have, quote, our own server, would you believe? So, you know, if you want to come play Daisy Standalone with us, a bit more. I mean, again, if you don't know Daisy, it's a very serious kind of game. You know, it, it's all about survival, infection, zombies. Uh, you know bandits shooting each other that sort of thing. It's not like dust It literally is one bullet to the head. You're gone. You, you know your body's gone. You're at well You're not you know, you're dead. You got to start again from, from scratch. So it's a very nice kind of game um, For for the more serious hardcore FFS -ers out there and that's harder to, to say than it is to think um, so I think, yeah, there's some interesting stuff coming. I mean, we're always going to love Dust. We're always going to play it. Um, I still think it's probably one of the most fun games out there. Um, I don't, you know, it, it's difficult to quantify why it's so good. But I just think a lot of it is to do with the, um, I guess, this the style of play. I mean, which is why I do fear a, a nerf of my scout suit and my thing. I mean, I've, I've tried other suits. I mean, for years I played with, you know, heavy suits and medium suits and you know, all that. And I've always naturally gravitated to the scout because I just, I mean, I know it's weak and I, I think that's kind of the charm of it because as soon as you start taking damage, you leg it. And it was funny because I was playing as a heavy recently and um, I started to take damage and I immediately panicked and started strafing left and right and I'm thinking why am I doing that I've got a thousand hit points I don't actually need to <laughs> to panic just yet so I think it's quite endearing um, the old scout suit and I, I do fear that eventually it's going to get the crap nerfed out of it they're going to make it slower they're going to make it even harder to uh, even easier to hit rather and um, they're going to you know bugger up the flaylock i think eventually you know once the flaylock's been nerfed everyone will go to the smg then that'll be classed as op and um, because people are good with it and know how to use it and then that'll get nerfed and to be honest this is kind of uh, it's becoming a bit concerning to me that there's a never-ending cycle here of whatever seems to be what players are using and is good quote um, people are saying it's overpowered and it's not it's because you're a shit player and these are good players killing you with these good stuff do you know what I mean um, I know that's quite an incendiary comment but I do believe that I mean you know every time you see a cow lodgy with a, a Deval assault rifle generally it's not you know it's not they're not being used by bad players they're being used by some of the, you know, the veterans of the game so to say that it's OP what you mean is it's better than your fit which you know is kind of like so you know what i mean it's like so you know you deal with it you know go and go and run a, a better suit go and find the better fit because you know i can guarantee you now that there is a better fit out there all the time there's always going to be that counter so i don't know it's a tricky one really i think a lot of the time people get bent out of shape because of you know this and that and the reality is is that you can't really re you can't nerf stuff for the skill don't worry i'm not defending the flaylock it does need a nerf but not excessively not not to the point where it's actually not going to really work anymore and i think that goes for everything i mean hmgs i hear a tidal wave of whoa i get you know teary letters literally you can see the little stains where the tears have fallen onto the paper <laughs> from people, I'm joking by the way, from people who've really, you know, been upset at the fact that they've played heavy for years and years and then they just keep pissing with the HMG. I mean, 
I get it. I actually do. I, I still think that the heavy machine gun, you know, think about it. It should be a devastating weapon. Um, and, and to be honest, you're penalized by using it because, A, you're slow. Um, the range isn't crazy on it. So to me, I, I always think it should be quite a good gun. But um, I think it's comical now. I mean, you know, I, I, I laugh when I see heavy because there's no heavy in the game I'm scared of at all. Because you know that with the flay lock and the scout suit and the armor damage bonus and all of these things, it means that, you know, really, you're going to kill a heavy quite easily, to be honest, in the scout suit. Um, is that right? Mm, possibly not. I don't think it feels right. I think it should be if you've got the drop on them, yes, you'll kill them. But if they, if you like bump into each other in the corridor, they'll start spraying bullets at you. The reality is, is it's actually very easy just to get the hell out and evade. And then circle around them, shoot them. You know, you can move faster than they can move. All the good stuff. And I think that's kind of wrong. Um, you know, I mean... It's a tricky one. You know, I always think of Fallout 3 and the, you know, the kind of power armor and that. I always, you know, attribute that to perhaps, um, you know, the, the way that most people generally see these things. So if you remember the scout suit in Fallout 3 was literally a stealth suit. Not very armored, but quick and, and difficult to see. And I think obviously they've mirrored that here. But certainly the, the heavy power armor was, was really a tank it was it was basically the future's version because you won't necessarily need tanks in the future i know we've got them in this but the reality is is that you know the forge gun and the hmg probably mean that you're you know a heavy trooper is as tough as a you know as a tank would maybe need to be tanks are siege weapons really now aren't they they're not anti-personnel things really um so i think the heavy suit is supposedly that quote tank um but i think maybe they you know i mean look at this dude i mean just i don't know I think it's too easy to kill a heavy with flail up rounds as well. It may be because, I don't know, the change seemed to put too much shield on these things. Um, I remember heavies had lots of armor, but maybe I'm completely mistaken. Um, so there we go, interesting round. A uh, bit of a mixture of weapons. Use a swarm launcher, I didn't get time to talk about that, but um, it was an interesting... Uh, I like the swarm launcher, and I think I'm, I'm generally becoming a bit of a jack of all trades of all guns. So I think the next one is going to be scrambler rifle. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a quick shout out, squadb.com. Click on any of these very attractive links to the right and go and check out our squadb.com page. It's literally just a, re a repository of all of our previous videos to do with Dust and Eve. Check it out. Um, also, just you know, like me, like and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and we will be eternally grateful and karma will be returned to you. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.